with its talented, creative and passionate community, Caribbean natives are making their presence felt in the entrepreneurial arena, especially in the fashion industry. The new wave of Caribbean designers are turning out fashionable, island-inspired clothing catching the eyes of the international community. Our guest today is no exception. We are eager to introduce you to a young, artistic clothing designer. On this episode of the Caribbean Network. Welcome to the Caribbean Network, where we highlight Caribbean-owned businesses here in the metro Atlanta area. We've partnered with Carib Lingo Clothing to bring you today's episode. Today, we bring you a Caribbean talent, Sean McAllister, whose collection has continued an upward trajectory since the brand first hit the streets. So Sean, tell us a little bit about your brand, Demrock, and the meaning behind the name. Well, um, I'm from Guyana, South America. Uh, we have a river that's called Demerara, okay. and so I use Dem from that, and I'm from Linden, that's a region, Region 10, and within Linden, there's a uh, part called Whiz Rock, so I use Rock from that, so put them together and... Oh, uh, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> well, that's pretty interesting. I never knew that collaboration of those words came like that to create the brand name itself. I mean, so growing up as a child, we were always told you could be whatever you want to be. You could dream of whatever you want to dream. As a child, when you were growing up, right, what were your dreams or aspirations? And along that trajectory, what inspired you to get into the fashion industry? Well, growing up as a child, I always wanted to be a basketball player. Really? Like, like many other... Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. you have the height for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I literally used to, like, as soon as I leave school, on the court, if the sun is up, if it's raining, mm -hmm. I'm there. I mean, I used to be maybe four shades marketed. <laughs> you know, so it's, um, that was just one part. When I moved to the States, I, um, a lot changed. Mm -hmm. And that kind of like, you know, went another direction. I mean, I still played basketball and sports. Yeah. But um, graduated in, uh, from high school in Canarsie in Brooklyn. Okay, okay. And moved down here in 2000. And uh, started to dibble and dabble a little bit into graphics. Mm -hmm. Graphic design. Yeah. Graphic design. And um, one day I, you know, just playing around on a computer and pulled up a t-shirt. I'm like, yeah, it would be nice to design a t-shirt for a company. And not long after it hit me, I'm like, I can do this for myself. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, and I didn't have a name then. Yes, yes. And yes. I think this was uh, maybe 2005, I didn't have a name. Right. But it's until 2006 is when the name hit and okay. the rest is his. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay, sounds good, man. Sounds real good. So entrepreneurship on its own is a difficult feat. I'm sure we could all agree on that. Mm -hmm. And producing an emerging independent brand comes with, you know, an additional layer of complexity. What would you say is the most challenging thing about growing your brand? Um, the first thing for me was believing that I'm able and capable to, you know, be in the industry and be effective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that's one. Um, and having a, a supportive team behind you it's it's another important thing I mean we have so many layers to to the question but I think those are the two main things that I that I've experienced in that I had to believe in what I was doing mm -hmm. um, like I mentioned earlier 
when I uh, started the brand in 2006. I had the idea in 2005, but started in 2006, and it took me maybe two years or so before I actually said anything to anyone mm -hmm. because I wanted to make it within myself, like that I'm solid. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. yeah. You know? yeah because gotcha. you know when you tell people, oh, this is not gonna work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I'm not a fashionable person in terms of like I always have to. The latest sneakers, the latest this, the latest mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So for someone to look at me and say, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, believing in yourself is it's believing in yourself. Yeah, key, man. That's is, key. Is yeah. the main thing. I mean, we've already you know many times over, but as much as as a person or an entre entrepreneur would repeat it or they would make mention of it, it's it's really really important yeah. that you believe in. And what we're doing, and yeah. knowing that you're able and capable of um, of accomplishing those things. Uh, so I would say believing is is one, and um, having a supportive team. But the other important thing is being consistent. Not too many people can actually like. I mean, we all go through yeah. the process where um, we start something and we stop. But being consistent is one of the hardest things to be. Oh yeah. So once you you know end up being consistent, you it's kind of it becomes much easier. Okay. That's 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 like some key knowledge. I'll call, I'll call <laughs> it jewels. You just drop oh, there yeah. for any gems in, in, <laughs> inspiring entrepreneur out there. Keys, keys, jewels, all right here. So my next question to you is right with current fashion trends, arts politics just anything out there in the world a lot of designers or creative people get inspirations from those particular things or even more right mm -hmm. what you would say drives and gives you inspiration right to keep your brand relevant and keep putting out season after season year after year relevant fresh hot styles I don't want to be like everyone else. For one. Key. Yeah. That is key. You know, because you know when they have certain trends going, mm -hmm. and, you know, and call the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, tend to, I tend to stay away from that mm -hmm. per se. Um, I listen mm -hmm. to a lot of things. You might be having a conversation and I'm gonna hear something, mm -hmm. but I can actually spin it and probably use it on a shirt or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It might not even be the word that you say, but I can actually use that word and I can spin it. And I've done that with so many of my designs. Um, but I, I try to, to be very creative in my thinking, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and not be so complacent to say, well, okay, this is the current trend. Okay, I'm gonna just do that. Yeah. And right. make a spin off of it. I try not to do that because you become like real lazy yeah mm -hmm. and you don't yeah. give yourself it's too a conditional chance. yeah you yeah. don't give yourself a chance to really think out the box yeah because uh, it's key. like someone yes. giving you a start yeah yep. yep you know you have a starting point i don't like to do that because it's like you you kind of cripple yourself yeah trans fall off too definitely so definitely. you know so i don't want nobody coming after me and say well, <laughs> oh you pattern after that and, yeah. i mean there's some designs that i would pattern after yeah after but majority of my stuff is stuff that came from from my head i would say maybe 90 95 percent of it is from the top of my yeah head. and but, that's what you know that's what gives it longevity yeah oh definitely and that also keeps your brand original that's right and guess what because a lot of people a lot of designers who pattern off of people their brand tend to fall off after that trend gets cold. Yeah. yeah. Yours will always stay relevant because yeah. of the originality behind it. And the other thing that I do is whenever I come up with an idea, mm -hmm. I always have a connecting point to move from one point mm -hmm. and then move to the other point. Okay. Yeah. For example, I have a, a, a boxer brief line oh. that, I, um, that I released maybe a month ago. Yeah. So I have that and I have the body butter and I have the tank top to go with it. So for example, let's say your significant other, you guys have, you know, <laughs> a, a, a night out and you know, he can, uh, after taking a shower or whatever, can put the tank top on, the box of brief on, you know, 
let him serve down okay. and, <laughs> and present and present present a complete package. Yeah. You know, so when he when he comes in the bed or wherever, he's smelling good. Uh, cause it's lemongrass. He's smelling good. <laughs> he's smelling good and he looks good. You okay. know? So I have other things that I'm gonna connect to that so it's gonna be an ongoing uh, project. Got and it. I'm not just gonna do one thing and just leave it as that. Okay. You know, so it's easier for me when I'm connecting dots. Okay. You know? And I have done that with many, many other um, projects that I've done over the years. So you always have a plan. I always, always have a plan. And moreover, designs that I did many years ago mm -hmm. and didn't complete it. Yeah. Because I felt like it wasn't ready. And that's right, the other right. thing. Stop being, you cannot be too picky. You cannot be a perfectionist. Because perfectionists, they get nothing done. Mm -hmm. So Fox, I, had to, I had to release myself. Yeah, that. yeah. You know, so by going and going back into designs mm -hmm. and and like, wow, I didn't print this. Mm -hmm. And I have a different view on it. So when I look at it, I can take that and Put it out there and you know a lot of people's like oh that's dope but they don't know that it's been around five, yeah six, seven divine years. timing everything <laughs> you know? in divine timing five six seven yep. eight years so it's it's just some of those things like experiences that i'm that i'm moving with on a daily basis mm, nice okay sounds pretty good well this man has dropped so many jewels and gems today it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> okay so the humble t-shirt you know, I think uh, t-shirts are one of the most versatile pieces of clothing. You can dress it up when you feel a little, you know, more fancy or if you feel casual, you can dress it down. Learning how to appropriately rock, see what I did there? A uh, t-shirt is something I would like to master. So, you know, I, I saw a couple um, little gems around the store. So <laughs> I, I would like to, to get a little I would like to get styled yeah. by you, you know? Would you, um, would you like to take up that challenge? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how it is, ladies. When you, you know, on the go, don't have time for the whole shebang, but you want to still turn a few heads, you know, with, with your t-shirt, with your outfit. So, do you have some things for me? <laughs> okay. I have a couple of options. Okay. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> I, um, based on your style, okay. I figured that this shirt would be the perfect uh, fit for you. You can wear it with your jeans, you can wear it with sneakers, you can wear it with what you have on right now. Okay. Um, the style of your hair fits it perfectly, your lipstick, you know. So I think this shirt right here with the rose is it's gonna be your best, best fit for you. Okay, let's try this one. We go into Paris! <laughs> <laughs> Telling me and Keela about the body butter. So, could you explain to us about the body butter, the inspiration behind it, and so forth? Yeah, so I um, I thought about the idea based off of the boxer brief, and I wanted to, you know, give a complete package okay. for a man. Yes, yes, yes. Right, so uh, you get out of the shower, you know, ladder yourself down. Um, it actually has a lot of, of really nice things in it. You got shea butter, coconut oil, mango butter, uh, lemongrass, the essential oil. Wow. Um, you got vitamin E. Okay, that's so yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, castor oil. Nice. Yeah, so I, I wanted to connect the dots with the tank top and um, the box of brief and the, you know, top it off with the, with the wow. body butter nice. for men. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? So, that's just the whole inspiration behind it. Because I didn't want to just do a box of brief. Gotcha, just, yeah. Because I have a certain way that I like to dress. Right, Not right. necessarily to bed per se, yeah. but completing the package. I'm also, I was also thinking, you know, like if you have an anniversary or yeah, something yeah, special, yeah. Okay. what am I looking for? Birthday. You know, nice. We want to see our women look nice to all bed. The time, all the time. So, 
We need why to not it. do it for the men? Got you. you know, yeah, that was yeah. you know one of the main things behind the idea. The idea. So um, here we have body butter. Body butter. So guys, you all have no excuses being crusty. <laughs> body butter. Them rock. Food. Alright, so earlier you were telling us about the body butter, right? And how the body butter complements the boxers. Tell us a little bit about the boxers now. Well, it's 95% cotton and 5% uh, spandex. Premium! <laughs> so you get that nice, soft, relaxed feel. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yes. Yeah, so it gives you a nice, you feel the quality of it is nice and yeah. spandex. Yes, man. Premium. I like it. You know, the, the, the band and everything is um, well structured. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this complements the body butter. Okay. Body butter. And, right. Um, All right. And the tank top. Okay. So when you go to bed, you feel. You feel sexy, you know? Yeah, 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 so yeah. So it's not just a female coming to bed and, and we gotta, you know. Yeah, man, flip, definitely. Flip the script sometimes, you know? <laughs> yeah. You're smelling good for one. Right. You're feeling comfortable. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. you're feeling sexy. Mm -hmm. You know, your girl or your significant other, they, you know, looking at you and eyeing you up and all this stuff. So that's the whole package. Gotcha. That's why I thought about the whole thing and not just do the boxer brief. Yeah. Or, or that, so. So it's a whole so construction a whole, process you put together. Out, nice, out nice, thing, so. nice, nice. Guys, get on it, Demra Clothing. He's hooking us guys up. We're going to bed feeling good. And wife smelling good. <laughs> wife smelling good up. <laughs> <laughs> wife <is> feeling good. <laughs> nice. So Sean, I see you have some flip-flops here of different colors, different assortments. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I decided to do the matching flip-flops to the uh, beach towel. Okay. You know, just to be yeah. coordinated. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the flip flip-flops for, for, for this one. Mm -hmm. But um also have uh, the Guyana version to it as well. Okay, nice. And of course that's gonna come in um, other uh, countries and, and style. Okay. Uh, this particular one here is goes for a t-shirt that I already have. Okay, okay, so it matches. Right? Yeah, so it matches um, the the print if you so desire to, to so you rock could, it that way. You could actually rock that at a beach party, a yeah. water party, yeah. a wet party, yeah. wet fet. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice. So, what you think, what you think? Give me a tool. That's all right. Bam. <laughs> Honestly, this shirt, like Sean was saying, definitely complements you. The color complements the jeans, complements the shoes. Definitely. Right now, I think we're definitely in Paris, France. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so comfy. I love this shirt. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Just like I, I envisioned. Yes, yes. Match the, the complements the shoes, the jeans, the lipstick, Pop. the hairstyle, mm -hmm. the whole physique, the fit. It's not close, it's just nice and loose. Yeah. So I give it Yeah, a thank you. Yeah, <laughs> so there you have it, ladies. Ladies, the rock clothing, a lot of diversity here we have for you. We have for the ladies, we have for the guys, we have for the babies, we have fitness, we have body butter. Yo, y'all go to them. Don't forget the brief. Oh, man. Go to the website, themrockcoding.com. Check them out. This is the Caribbean Network. So, Sean, thank you for this magnificent experience. And here at the Caribbean Network, we never like to walk with our hands swinging, so we just want to present you with a gift. Thank you so much. And it makes sense. <laughs> yep, That's yep. What we all show be them, doing. show them. That's what we all should be doing. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, definitely. Since you guys were so generous in giving me a t-shirt, what I'm going to do is offer your viewers 20% off wow. through my website. Oh, okay. Nice, That's nice, nice. or you can type in demrock.com. So, 
Okay. That's my gift. I mean, that's very generous. Thank you. That's super generous. <laughs> so, you guys heard it. You guys get 20% off with the code The Caribbean Network at www.demraclothing.com. So, Sean, you just gave us the website. Tell our audience where they can find you and also give them all your social media handles. Well, the physical address is uh, 7173 Covington Highway, Suite Eaton, and that's located in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, you can find me on all social media platforms mm -hmm. at Demar Clothing. That's Instagram, um, Twitter, and uh, Facebook. You know, those are the main three things that I'm social media that I'm on. So you can find me there. Cool. Send me a message or two. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, make sure go check him out. Check him out. He got some dope stuff in here. Trust. And check us out at www.thecaribbeannetworth.com, and you can find us on Instagram at the Caribbean Network. So I'm Makila. I'm Benzo. And we, we are, are your hosts, hosts for, for the Caribbean, Caribbean Network. Network. And now, it's time for the Carib Lingo Word of the Day. And now it's time for the Carib Lingo Word of the Day. Today's Carib Lingo Word of the Day is Bacchanal. Oh, Bacchanal. You're telling me? <laughs> so Bacchanal is basically any incident time marked by drama, scandal, conflict, Confusion. Yep, we use Bacchanal in Trinidad, Jamaica, Grenada, Guyana, all over the Caribbean. Everybody knows what Bacchanal means. When you hear Bacchanal, you know about Bacchanal. You understand? So even in music, because we have songs all the way from 1993, Super Blue, Bacchanal Time, all the way up to 2018, Bacchanal and Water by Bungie Gallen, the Carib Network. drive to keep the Caribbean net worth healthy and sustainable. If you are happy with our content and wish to help us keep the Caribbean net worth's voice going strong, please support us by contributing to thecaribbeannetworth.com slash donate. Your contribution will help fund our production and allow us to produce high quality, independent media that uplifts our Caribbean culture. Anyone who donates $100 or more will receive a Carib Lingo t-shirt. So please, help keep us sustainable by visiting thecaribbeannetworth.com slash donate. With your donation, we will build strong, Caribbean-centric media together. <laughs>